Well, there's plenty to be distracted by in a classroom, but far too many children are distracted by hunger. At Murphy Elementary School in Grand Rapids, the staff has started a food shelf to ensure that no student has to worry about if or when they'll have their next meal. Mel Meyer has that in this week's Golden Apple. The new Thunderhawk Connections program will help students and their families with more than just a good lunch, but other supplies to stay focused in school. Second Harvest North Central Food Bank first approached Independent School District 318 two years ago about using a grant for a food shelf. It was previously unable to accommodate the needed space until this year. Um, to have the Second Harvest Food Bank support our families in need with the food pantry has been very valuable to us. There has been an overwhelming need for assistance in the district. The school's principal says 40 to 60 percent of families receive free or reduced price lunches. So although we might be 60 percent, it's actually higher because that 60 percent of the families filled out the application, turned it in and qualified. But even getting to lunch is part of the issue. If your major focus is I'm hungry right now, math is kind of a secondary feature for you. Brian Fiddledye says some of his students have had to ask him for food before. Three of his students have started to use a pantry for snack times. I have several students that don't have available snacks, perhaps haven't had breakfast. They'll frequently come to me looking for a little something to get them to the, to the lunch period. The pantry will provide these basic necessities that families might not otherwise have. Only a few people left. Who's going to win? Kyla. These issues are happening across the district, according to Kathy Fannin, who works at Southwest Elementary. Over two, I have families who are um, right now homeless or do not have um, food for their family. So that's where I come in and help with resources throughout our community. Other resources, like the food bank, may be overwhelming for some. I think sometimes our people are nervous to go to that food bank in our community. It might be too big or a little bit scary. The school in Second Harvest hopes this discreet service expands to other schools over time. It's a, it's a huge need in the Itasca County area and hopefully we can grow it into other schools. In Grand Rapids, I'm Mal Meyer, Lakeland News. The grant will provide supplies for the next two to three months. The school will then have to look for sponsors or receive donations to run the free service. Great program. Good to be able to highlight that on Lakeland News. It certainly is. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.